good day po sa ating lahat and once again it's me teacher Koy and welcome to Isip Math Tutorial at ang ating pag-usapan ngayon ay ang ating quarter 3 module 5 ng ating grade 8 mathematics pero bago pang lahat if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para po lagi po kayong updated sa lahat ng mga bagong videos po natin okay so, we, uh, ano po, module 5 na po tayo. At uh, for the information of everybody, yung ginamit po natin na module ay yung binigay ng ating division dito sa Bohol. So, from Bohol division po itong um, module na ginamit ko po. So, for module 5 is definition of congruent triangles. And once again, this is for grade 8 mathematics. Quarter 3, Module 5, and naka-milk base po tayo. Alright? So, let's start. So, our learning competency, we have here solves corresponding parts of congruent triangles. And this is the code. And our objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to recall the primary and secondary parts of a triangle. Define congruent triangles and identify the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So, yung previous topic po natin, napakusapan po natin dun, yung kung ano po yung ibig sabihin ng congruent. Diba? Congruent means same size, same shape, same measurement. So, congruent. So, kung sabihin natin na this triangle is congruent to this triangle. So, ibig sabihin natin, uh, ibig sabihin na, Yung measurement ng sides, angles ng triangle na to ay kapareho ng measurement ng sides at saka angles ng triangle na to. So, we can see that these two triangles are congruent. So, for our lesson 1, we have here definition of triangles and its parts. A triangle is a polygon with three sides. As we all know that the triangle is has three sides from the word tri, but three. If a triangle has vertices A, B, and C, we name the triangle as triangle A, B, C. So this is the symbol of a triangle, okay? Triangle A, B, C. Or in symbols, this one, okay? And we have this drawing here at the right side of our screen. And in the figure at the right, this one, we have triangle ABC. Segment A, this one, or side AB. Segment AB or side AB. Side BC and side AC are the sides of this triangle. Diba? This one, side AB, side BC, and side AC. Ito po yung sides ng triangle ABC. And we have also this angle B A C yeah, angle B A C or angle A and angle A B C or angle B and angle B C A or angle C are the angles of this triangle okay once again uh, angle B A C Tapos B, A, C or simply as angle A and angle A, B, C or simply as angle B and angle B, C, A or simply as angle C are the angles of this triangle. Okay? So, hope na, hope na gets nyo po. And we have A, B, and C are the vertices of this triangle. Okay, A, B, and C. Ito po yung vertices ng triangle na to. So, in naming a triangle, there are three ways. Mayroon pong tatlong um, ways how to name a triangle. First, by using the angle vertex such as angle A, angle B, and angle C. So, since our vertices are A, B, and C, so therefore, yung angles po niya ay angle A, Angle B at saka angle C. So, this is the first, first way. 
And the second is by using the three letters such as angle BAC, angle ABC, and angle BCA. So we have this one, angle BAC, angle ABC, and angle BCA. And lastly, using numeric or numbers if ever it is used in the figure. So for example, we have this one, one, di ba? Number one. So, andito po siya sa vertex na A. So, this, we can name this one as angle 1. Okay? Instead of angle A or angle B, A, C, pwede angle 1. Okay. For example, we have this one, angle A, B, C. Tapos, si angle B, pwede nating, um, we can name this one as angle 2 or angle 3. Okay. So, that's it. So, let's proceed. So, every triangle has three altitudes, three medians, and three angle bisectors. So, meron pong tatlong altitudes, tatlong median, at saka angle bisectors, tatlong angle bisectors. So first, we have altitude. And altitude to a side is a segment drawn from a vertex of a triangle to the point in the line containing opposite side. Such that segment and the line intersect to form a right angles. So, for this triangle, dito sa right side po ng ating screen, we have triangle A, B, C. Diba? Tapos, meron pong segment. For example, this one. Segment A, X. So, galing dito kay vertex A, papunta dito sa side B, C. Ito. Segment A, X. Diba? Tapos, perpendicular po sila yung point of intersection dito. Uh, right tri uh, right angle so segment ex is the altitude the okay, altitude from vertex a going to side bc and we have also this one segment by is also an altitude from vertex b going to um side ac this one okay tapos tapos siya. Um, perpendicular, okay, right angle, and we have also segment C Z, okay, is our altitude from vertex C going to side A B. Tapos yung point of intersection niya ay tapos ya, na di ba perpendicular and this is 90 degrees, ba right angle. Okay, so these are the three altitudes of this. Triangle, triangle ABC. So the altitudes are segment BY, segment AX, and segment CZ. Okay, so let's proceed. So angle by sector na po tayo. So an angle by sector divides an angle into two congruent angles. Ibig sabihin ito, angle by sector, uh, umaga, kung merong ray from this um, vertex going to the opposite side, of this angle, tapos angle by sector po siya, so it means it divides the angle into two congruent angles. So, we have here triangle STU, okay? triangle STU. We have this one, okay, our angle by sector, SY, okay, SY. So, ray SY from this vertex going to this side, and this is the angle S, so it divides angle S into two congruent parts. So this ray or the segment SY divides the angle S into two congruent parts. And we have also TZ, okay, TZ. So from vertex T or angle T, diba? TZ, it divides the angle T into two congruent angles. Okay, congruent angles and we have also u x so from vertex u okay so or angle u so this segment or this ray is our angle by sector so it divides angle u into two congruent angles or two congruent parts okay so next we have a median a median to a side is a segment drawn from a vertex to a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So, median from vertex 
going to the midpoint of the opposite side. So for our example here, we have triangle PQR, okay? Triangle PQR. Then we have this segment PO, okay? PO from vertex P going to the opposite side. Our opposite side is QR or RQ, di ba? So ito si O dito, point O is the midpoint of this side, okay? Side QR, okay? O is the midpoint of side QR. So, from vertex P going to point O, to, this is our median. Okay? So, PO or segment PO is the median. Okay? Next, we have also RN. RN. So, from vertex R going to the opposite side. Okay? The opposite side is QP or PQ, side PQ. N is the midpoint of side PQ. So, therefore, RN is the median. Okay, median. And then, last one, we have QM. Okay, from vertex Q, going to the opposite side. We have side PR or side RP. And M is the midpoint of side PR. So, QM is the median. And, pag sinabi natin median, so it means it divides also the opposite side into two equal parts or two congruent parts. So, for example, we have this one. Balik tayo dito. P, O, P, O. So, this one, O, divides the side Q, R into two congruent parts. So, O, Q, and O, R are congruent. Okay, or Q, O, or R, O. Then, Rn. So, N is the midpoint of side PQ. So, therefore, NQ is congruent to NP. Kasi, midpoint po si N ng side PQ. And we have also QM. So, M is the midpoint. Therefore, MP is congruent to MR because M is the mid midpoint of side PR. Okay? So, I hope na gets nyo po. Okay, so let's proceed. So, congruent triangles. So, two triangles are congruent if and only if their vertices can be paired. So, the corresponding sides are congruent and corresponding angles are also congruent. And we have to remember these symbols. So, we have this one, this symbol, triangle. Okay, this is a symbol of triangle. And this one is the symbol of congruency. Okay, for example, we have triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FDE. Okay? Triangle FDE. So, this is the congruent or the symbol of congruency and the symbol of triangle. Okay, let's proceed. So, congruent triangles. The congruent corresponding parts are marked identically. So, dapat po markahan po natin sila para hindi po tayo mawala kung saan po yung parte na congruent sa kabilang part ng isang triangle. So, the table shows the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. For example, we have triangle A, B, C. It's congruent to triangle F, D, E. Okay, so triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle F, D, E. So, for the corresponding sides, we have side A, B. This one is congruent to side F, D. So, as you can see it here, mayroon po tayong mga markings, di ba? Side A, B is congruent to side FD. Yung markings na po nila ay pareho. And we have side BC is congruent to side DE. Okay? Meron pa tayong markings dito. May mga markings po, di ba? Pareho sila. Kasi congruent si side BC and side DE. And side AC is congruent to side FE. So, meron pa din markings dito. Okay? For the corresponding angles, we have angle A. This one, angle A, is congruent to angle F. So, may markings po. Parep sila ng markings. And angle B is congruent to angle D. Okay, meron pong markings dito. Okay, para po ma-identify na yung angle na yan ay congruent po sila. And angle C is congruent to angle E. Okay, this one. And for the corresponding vertices, since angle A is congruent to angle F, therefore, 
vertex A is congruent to ang to vertex F, di ba? And since angle B is congruent to angle D, therefore vertex B is congruent to vertex D. And angle C is congruent to angle E, therefore vertex C is congruent to vertex E. Okay, so that's for our lesson 2. Okay, lesson 2. So let's proceed for our lesson 3, parts of triangle and its relative position. So before we discuss the different postulates that proves and shows that the two triangles are congruent given less number of corresponding congruent parts, let us study and identify the parts of a triangle in terms of their relative position. So sa module 6 po natin, ang topic natin doon ay ano, um, proving triangle congruence. So before to, before po tayo proceed sa module 6, we're going to study this one, okay, this part, okay? The relative position. So, let's consider this figure. We have triangle S-O-N, okay? Triangle S-O-N. Pag sinabi natin included angle, so, is the angle between two sides of a triangle, di ba? Nung nakaraang uh, lesson po natin, di ba? Included angle and included side. Pag sinabi natin included angle, it means yung angle na sa gitna, ng dalawang side, so between two sides. Uh, pag sinabi natin included side, it means yung side is between two angles. Okay? So, included angle is the angle between two sides. And included side is the side common to two, ang to two angles of the triangle. So, it means yung side nun ay common ng dalawang angles, isang triangle. So, we have this one, triangle S, O, N. So, angle S, this one, angle S is the included angle between side S, O, and side S, N. Di ba? Si angle S ay nasa gitna ni side S, O, at side S, N. Okay. Then, angle O, we have angle O, is the included angle between side O, S, and side O, N. Di ba? Angle O ay nasa gitna or between ni side O, S, and side O, N. And, angle N is the included angle between side NO and side NS. Ito po yung side natin, NS and NO. So, angle N is the included angle. Then, for the sides, side SO. Okay, dito side SO is the included side between angle S and angle O. Diba? Nasa gitna si side SO. Okay, between angle S and angle O. And side ON, this one, ON, is the included side between side uh, between angle N and angle O. Okay. And side SN. Where side SN? Side SN is this one. Side SN is the included side between between angle S and angle N. Okay. So, that's it. Okay. So, that's for our um, module 5 ng ating grade 8 mathematics quarter 3. And if you have some questions, Please um, put that in the comment section, okay? And I'll try my best to answer that one. And kung gusto niyo po ng soft copy ng ating um, uh, PowerPoint presentation, ilagay ko po dun sa, dyan sa baba sa video, video description yung link po ng ating PowerPoint. Okay, so once again, this is Teacher Koy of Easy Punch Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.